Hello and welcome gorgeous Taurus to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. Let's take a look at your first few cards here. And your first symbol, your first card is the mountain, major challenge to overcome. So it is a major thing going on in your life right now. You'll know exactly what spirit is talking about if this card resonates. It's a major challenge. But the good news with this card is that you will overcome this mountain, this challenge, this obstacle. So in fact, this is a really great sign. The month of November is going to be very significant for you. So you may already know of an event or something important happening in November. If not, just be aware that there's going to be something significant, very significant happening in November. The bag, something important such as a new job or a raise. So to do with your career, to do with your finances, to do with your work, a new job perhaps, something, some change coming financially, you're going to be gifted a bonus perhaps or an increase in your salary. But there's something like this on the way, materially speaking, something important, a change for the better, a raising of the vibrations in your material life. And the shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So be careful because maybe this raise, this job, this new career, this financial abundance, this bonus, whatever this bag represents for you can be taken away. Perhaps it's not set in stone yet. And so just be aware that if you're not careful, it could be taken away or they could be less than. And so it's to do with material wealth, your possessions, your finances, which are, in co of course, connected into your work and your job or how you uh, investments, perhaps how you um, how you receive your income. Um, so we've got a prosperous energy, but also be wary of any pitfalls, downfalls or anything that uh, could put it in jeopardy. And there is a younger woman involved in your life of significance, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. So this may be your daughter, it may be a friend, maybe a co-worker, but a significant conversation or this person is going to be significant in your life or is significant in your life. So let's see what this deck reveals for you, Taurus. Guidance for Taurus, please, spirit. healthy choices. So you're going to be making more healthy choices for yourself over the coming week, which is really wonderful, Taurus. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions. So you'll know what spirit is talking about here for you, of course, if it resonates. It may be healthy eating or diet, exercise, lifestyle rela related. It might be to do with your workplace. Maybe a change in jobs is healthy for you. Maybe it's a dynamic in a relationship. It could be self-talk and negative thinking that you're removing or surrendering. So see how that resonates for you. Live your joy. Beautiful. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. You're needing more of this. You're wanting more joy in your life. And, and you get to jump for joy over an offer, an invitation, over something going well in your life. You know, Taurus, I do feel coming up for you, there is an unexpected turn of events, which which will have this effect on you. You'll be jumping for joy. You don't see it coming, but it is coming in for you. And joy is how you're going to react. There's an excitement to it. You know, it's something you didn't expect, but you're so excited that it's happening. Guidance for Taurus, please bear it. Share your thoughts. Maybe you have some wonderful ideas and you're needing to, or Spirit is asking you to share them with others, whoever these other people may be. 
Maybe it's in your workplace or business. Maybe it's in your personal life or relationships. Um, it might also mean for you, it might be significant because you're, um, because of your thought patterns and your mental health and there's an upliftment in this vibration as well. Maybe sharing your thoughts, recounseling or something like this is going to help bring about clarity to your thoughts and, un and an upliftment in this vibration. I'm also getting a sense that there may be something on your mind that you're needing to tell someone or you're needing to speak up about something. And this is also a very positive dynamic. Be patient for something. It can be difficult to be patient, I know. But at Taurus, it will come in good time. Angels and guides, bring through a message, please, for Taurus. Bring through a message for Taurus, please. Reap what you sow. Something you have done in the past is coming back to you. This might be a karmic thing. It might be a very positive thing. Something you have, seeds that you have planted in the past are now growing and you're starting to see a benefit. You're starting to see a blossoming, a renewal of sorts, Spirit is saying. But whatever it is that you've put energy, effort, intention into in the past, it's going to come um, full circle and you're going to reap what you have sown in some way. So keep a look out for that expand your universe expanding your thinking perhaps is important in a situation this week maybe expanding your experiences if given the opportunity to see a different point of view then definitely ponder this and consider it because there's an expansion coming in your life in some way um, which is very positive it's very good you might be expanding your horizons in work or business or in your relationships and dealings Guidance for Taurus, please, spirit, angels and guides, bring through a message for Taurus, please. The Four of Emotion. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you. Look around you. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity. As long as you act upon your dreams. As long as you act upon your dreams and you don't rest on your laurels, if you know that something needs to be done or you can take some kind of positive action forward, then this week you need to do that. The Guardian of Emotion. This situation requires emotional maturity and total trust. You're surrounded by those who have only the best of intentions, so you can rely on the advice you're given. Challenges will be resolved. This card indicates a generous humanitarian, a refined person whom you can completely depend on. This could be a reference to these characteristics within yourself. So we have um, a situation that needs emotional maturity and total trust. Okay, so you'll know where to place that energy in your life. A new beginning. You're at the beginning of a wonderful journey. So often this means there's a closure that's happened. There is a there is a closing of a door so a new opportunity can arise. There's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer the world. If you will just free yourself from that which holds you back, new opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. So this is also representing freedom. Often the fool does mean that you're breaking out of a situation that no longer serves you. You're following your passion. You're following your heart. Quite a creative card. Embrace those around you. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love, who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. So we have an, an, a message of coming together with others and holding those you love close. This energy can speak to 
accepting situations as they are and making the best of a circumstance. The sixth of emotion. Memories can fill your heart with many emotions. It's important to remember your past accurately without seeing it as better or worse than it was. Is that what you're doing at the moment, Taurus, with someone or in your past or what you're remembering? Are you are you thinking upon this time or this person accurately without seeing it as better or worse? People you used to know may return to your life unexpectedly. Children could become an important issue or you may need to reconnect with your own inner child. And the messenger of abundance. Wonderful news regarding your career, a new job, a promotion or acceptance into an excellent school comes into your life. You might feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. This situation may involve someone who's fun to be around and someone mischievous and sometimes mischievous. This person who may be you is youthful, optimistic and very clever. So there is good news coming, wonderful news regarding your career, or maybe it will come into your life around a different issue, around a different area of your life. Be open to it though. It is a blessing. I'm also seeing in this card that you are feeling ready to move toward something more challenging or something more aligned to your heart. A new purpose, perhaps a new job, something like this isn't aligning at the moment. And so you're really considering your options at the moment. Let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. The answer is yes. So check in with your intuition and see how this resonates for you. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope spirit has come through clearly for you with some messages of importance. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.